Hello again, everybody. Mental Fox here. Thank you so much for joining me on this playthrough of The Witcher. Just want to take a moment to thank you guys for your encouraging comments on the first couple of episodes that I posted the, uh, a couple days ago. Thank you so much. Um, it's uh, exciting for me to see you guys are excited for this uh, new playthrough. And I'm very excited that you guys are going to go through it with me. Makes it that much more fun. So thank you so much for uh, your likes and your comments. I really do appreciate it. We are out here on the outskirts of Vesima, and uh, this traveler here um, is just kind of standing here, kind of creeping me out, actually. Simple folk know a good deal, especially the elders. Some share their stories for small tokens. Thanks. That's good to know. Uh, I feel like we've already done everything there is to do out here. So we are going to go ahead and go into the inn. Our current quest is... Oh, actually, I don't think we even have an active quest, do we? Um, I guess these ones with the stars are... Oh, okay, these are the active quests. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Can I make it not active? Doesn't look like there's a way to make it not active. Alright. Let's go in. Oh, oh, there's the drunk guy coming out. We'll just walk past him. Oh gosh, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. I pressed the wrong button. My bad. To meditate at inns, talk to the innkeeper and left-click meditation. Tip, you can also leave items in a tavern storage. Speak with the innkeeper and left-click on the storage icon. Recover your stored icons and... <laughs> your icons. Recover your stored items at any time from any inn or tavern. That is some magic right there. So here we are in the uh, inn. I don't even know what the name of this inn is. Does it say here? Uh, did any are any of my quests updated? Um, do 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 do. Doesn't look like it. We're just kind of walking around here. So uh, yeah, we'll just come in here and we'll just talk to everybody there is to talk to. Here's a uh, Kalkstein. Kalkstein? Kalkstein? Let's talk to him. Hmm. Three ounces of optimum martyr, a drop of mercury solution. Uh, oh, sorry. I got lost in thought. Greetings. Greetings. I'm Kalkstein, alchemist. Geralt, witcher. A witcher? How much would you ask for an <laughs> opportunity to examine your body? I don't think you could afford it. You would be doing a great service to science. All right, fine. Though I perceived you as someone who valued reliable knowledge. I respect science and scientists, alchemists too. And I guess I expect the same in return. I see. Well, hmm. Maybe you can agree to a post-mortem then. Keep talking and I might change my mind. Regarding alchemists, that is. All right, all right. I'm sorry. Okay, so now we get to talk to all Kalkstein here. They say you need ghoul blood. They say you need ghoul blood. Do you have any? I'll come back when I've gathered some. I need that blood for my studies. Be quick about it. You'll get it when you get it. Oh, wow. That's it? That's all we get to talk about now? Learn a little bit about Kalkstein. That's it. This absent-minded alchemist seems nice, but it is obvious that scientific theories are of greater concern to him than the more prosaic aspects of life. Hmm. Alvin was the little boy outside that we saw him possessed or something. A boy named Alvin managed to escape the Barghest attack, which cost his foster mother her life. As a result of the shock, he started to divine the future and uttered the prophecy of Ithlin. I suppose Alvin is a source. He has magical powers he cannot control. Hmm. All right. Oh, I knew something new about Triss here. Uh, let's see, we already read all this part. After Leo's funeral, the sorceress teleported to Vizima. She decided to use her extensive contacts and search for information on Salamandra. Triss promised to find me as soon as I arrive in Vizima. Okay. We haven't met Shani yet, so we're not going to read about her. Coxine, I'm not done with you, man. What brings you here? You don't look like a local. 
I live in Vizima, but I'm just returning from a great convention of alchemists, pyromancers, and geomancers in Oxenfort. Wonderful city which uh, a cradle of science. I don't doubt it. Did the convention reach any specific conclusions? It was an incredible experience. <laughs> I presented my dissertation on... Specific? Uh, conventions aren't meant to be specific. Then I'm not sure I see the sense. Science is like a great river, full of currents, whirls, and treacherous shallows. A single raftsman can never know every secret of the river. He must sail to the harbor and share his knowledge with other raftsmen. Nice and analogy. Get drunk and spend his last money on whores. I think I see the point now. Hmm. Science is like a river. Uh, sorry, I got lost in thought. You were talking about returning to Vizima. Ah, uh, yes. Because of this quarantine, I'm losing time in this inn. I have extremely important research waiting. And what am I doing sitting in this dump and drinking alcohol? Badly distilled alcohol. I've sent a message to my friend, another alchemist. He is my only hope. Hopefully, he will send me a pass. Hmm. Well, I wish you luck. Thank you. They must admit me. They must. So apparently there is a quarantine and no one is admitted into Vizima. I don't know if I... If we have learned what the quarantine is for or whether I've learned it and just forgotten it. Hey, uh, you know, I just wanted to... Do you ask for everyone for permission to examine or Do dissect them? Do you ask them? everyone for permission to examine or dissect them? Of course not, but you're a mutant, a scientifically wrought improvement, something unnatural. That explains it. Don't take offense, I'm merely curious. Oh, okay, so I guess this is our way of asking, asking him if he has any jobs for us. Need any help from a witcher? I do. Check the notice I hung outside. Well, let's ask him about alchemy. I wanted to ask you about alchemy. Finally, someone worth talking to. Here I thought the locals had no interests beyond their daily concerns. I'm not exactly a local. And think about it. If the locals were all interested in alchemy, they wouldn't have much need for you. Ha! Ah, typically short-sighted. Witcher, alchemy is the mother of all sciences. And do you know why? For it allows us to understand the world. All that surrounds you is none other than the alchemy you strive so dutifully to deride. Alchemical processes transpire in your body at all times. They allow you to eat, breathe, and excrete. What's more, they are responsible for your thoughts and feelings. Alchemy is life. We need to change the subject before the peasants decide to burn us at the stake. One cannot shut the mouth of science. But fine. What do you wish to know? Ooh. How do you obtain alchemical bases? You need equipment to obtain the correct distillate. I myself use an atonator coupled with an alembic and equipped additionally with a rectifying column and a copper cooler. And if I don't have a coupled atonator handy? I see. Field work. Hmm. Olaf must have some decent vodka or spirit that could serve as an alchemical base. Where do I get ingredients? If you wish to obtain components yourself, you'll need books containing drawings and descriptions of ingredients derived from both plants and animals. Peddlers are your other alternative, but they'll rip you off. When I require monster tissue or organs, hmm... Well, I hire a witcher, or a hunter. I'm interested in formulae. Ready-made formulae are rare and difficult to acquire, so I encourage you to experiment, modify recipes you already have. Most people underestimate the value of using the empirical method in science. Okay, so... He mentioned um, plants and stuff, so there's a couple of books that we want to pick up so that uh, we can Id identify plants that we could use for uh, alchemy. I think I've heard enough. But we've only just begun! Okay, well we've exhausted everything that, uh, all every uh, dialogue.
path that we could take with him right now. So we would just bid him farewell. Farewell. Uh, so when I hold my A button down, it highlights everything that I can interact with. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and rob these people. I don't remember in this game if there are consequences to doing this, like if somebody sees me do it. I don't know, I guess I'll find out the hard way, probably. Basket, let's see what's in the basket. So we're just picking up all this, I don't know, maybe useless stuff. It may come in handy at some point, I'm not sure. So here's the innkeeper in Vesna, Vesna Hood. Greetings, handsome. You look a tinge fatigued. Wait, didn't you rescue that child at the gate? What a voice. By chance. By chance? Really? If only the local peasants chance to do good once in a while. Oh, no matter. What can I get you? Hmm. Uh, let's see. Well, we could, uh, show me your wares. Let's take a look at her wares. So she doesn't, she probably has some stuff that we could use as bases. For formulas, but I don't need anything right now. Um, and then as far as selling stuff, she'll buy stuff from us. But as of right now, I'm not sure what is important to keep. So... Although I am, it does look like I'm almost filled up. Looks like I'm almost already maxed out on my inventory. So I might I might want to start getting rid of some of this stuff. Like this chicken. Selling price, five for each. I mean I don't I don't need this much chicken. Yeah, let's sell this chicken, make ten orange real quick. Chicken sandwich. Yeah. Sell these. Clear up some space in our inventory. Uh, these are three apiece. And what else is worth selling? Two, one. Not interested. Uh, gutted fish. Yeah, look at this. We're up to 49 orins, huh? Yeah, we're making all kinds of money now. Alright. Yeah, we made a little bit of space. So, <laughs> I remember playing this before. You can. Uh, whoa, sorry, I didn't mean to hit you there. What can I get you? You could try to get her to. I guess maybe you could try to romance her, but I, don't, I haven't had any luck with that. Let's see Nothing if she'll now, sit with us. But care to sit down with me for a moment? Not likely. I'm a decent girl. I'm at work now. Uh, let's see. What should we say? Um. You mean to say you stop being decent after work? Well, she's. I wonder how she'd respond to that. You mean to say you stop being decent after work? How dare you! <laughs> what a bore! <laughs> Alright, well no wonder I've never had any luck with her. Go play yourself, pervert. Oh, great. Alright, well I screwed that up quickly. Let's see what the innkeeper had to say. What do you want? Give me a beer. Oop. Your kind's not welcome here. I said I wanted a beer. We have no more. Very well. I'll see what I have. Good man. Everyone drink up. We're closing. Innkeeper, do that again and I'll get angry. Wouldn't want that, would you? No. All right. I'll just tend to my business and be on my way. Hmm. What can I do for you? Uh, yeah. Uh, in case you didn't notice, um, I'm a witcher. But I want to know why he's so gloomy first. Why the gloom? Oh, I don't talk to strangers. Do you for five orans? For that, I'd talk to a bar guest all day. Fine, let's give him some money. The plague was devastating. People died in droves. The wailing lingered for three moons. The plague. If not for the reverend, we'd all have perished. No wonder we're wary of strangers. You don't know what it's like when the plague takes your family. The Reverend prayed all day to the Eternal Fire, taking no sustenance. His penance freed us from sin and strengthened our faith. We began by cleansing our homes of sin and filth. We gathered it up, and by the next day, all our foulness was buried or gone. The Reverend then spoke to all who remained. 
You have done well cleansing your households of sin. I know it was difficult, I know they be kin, but the eternal fire sent pestilence on them as punishment for their sins. You are pure, you shall live. And we believed him, then went outside. The frost was biting, but we did our penance, crawling round the village, praying at the five chapels. The next day the village was quiet, as if all were asleep. Fewer have fallen sick since. An edifying tale. Thanks. Hmm. So, a plague. That's why Vizima is uh, quarantined. What can I do for you? Well, let's tell him we're a witcher, as if he doesn't already know. I'm a witcher. Bah, by the eternal fire. Have any work for me? No. Ask the Reverend. Okay. I'll speak with him. What can I do for you? <laughs> um, yeah. Well, we are looking for someone who stayed at the inn. I'm looking for someone who stayed at this inn. Look around the tables. But at night, guests retire to their rooms. Return tomorrow if you must talk to them. All right. I'll look around. What can I do for you? Um, well, we really don't need a room. So, let's see. And then we could store stuff here. Again, I don't know what's important and what's not, but at the rate we're picking stuff up, I mean, I don't see why we can't just go ahead and... See, we've already got ten flint. We've got some Bargus skulls here. A bunch of bottled water. I don't think I need these anymore. I've already read these, so... We could just get rid of these since they're taking up slots in our storage. Um, I've already read this book. We'll just put it in storage. I've already read this. We'll put it in storage. This is, uh... Oh. Right-click to read. Did I not read this? Notes containing the formula for a potion made using a frightener's eye. The potion grants one one bronze talent when consumed. Okay. Alright. So I read that, so I don't need to be carrying that around anymore. And... Oh, I haven't read this one either. The Book of the Swallow. Scrolls contain the formula for a series of Witcher potions. Okay, so it's we need some white gull, swallow, cat, blizzard, what? The book of the swallow. Okay, so it teaches us all of these. White gull hallucinogen and high quality alchemical base. Swallow increases vitality re regeneration. Cat enables night vision. Blizzard increases reflexes in combat and necrophage oil. Blade coating increasing increases damage caused to necrophages. Okay, so that was definitely a good book. Uh, book good thing to read. So if I read all these, I've read that one, I read that one, read it, read it, and then um, we've already read all of these. Yeah, I'll just store these things that I've read, because otherwise they're just going to take up space in my inventory. And, um, I wonder why these two bottled waters are different. Why don't these two stack on top of each other? They're just, they're just bottled water. Huh, I don't know. I just don't think I need that much stuff. Um, I mean, I'm not going to be using a stout to um, create any potions, I don't think. All this weak alcohol. So we'll just move it over. Bunch of, man, look, we have eight, eight swallow potions. An unknown potion, white gull, blizzard, a grindstone and a whetstone, saltpeter. High quality base for bombs. We don't know how to make bombs yet, so we'll put this over here. Um, I don't know. I, I just do red meteorites. Hmm, interesting. Oh, we have a buttload of flint. Let's go ahead and move this over here. We don't need to be carrying around that much flint, I don't think. A bun. Looks like a sand dollar. That's what it looks like to me. Yeah, I'm just going to store all this food over here. We're, I'm sure we're going to walk around and we're going to pick up a ton more food. So we hang on the flint and the Bargus skulls, bottled water, I guess, goat's milk. We don't need that. All right. Okay, that's pretty cool. Let's go with that. All right, let's see what else there is uh, around here. The people to talk to, things to steal. So we got a gambler here. I think we could play games with him. You don't look like one to be lucky at love, but I wager your luck excels at dice. I know a bit about the game. Sir, I wouldn't cheat you. An honest game's what I propose. Honest? Why choose me? No one else is willing to sit down with you. 
Risk is your daily bread, that's clear. I'd consider it an honor to play you. My pouch is as empty as a smith's bellows. The peasants round here have nothing but cabbage to wager. A hunter, a worthy opponent, used to fancy a game, but I haven't seen him in a while. I'm not surprised. I don't doubt you fleeced him. To be frank, he loved high stakes, yet the dice disliked him from the outset. Mm, who is this hunter? Who is this hunter you played? Must have been quite a lover, for I've never seen such ill luck on a man. He lost a lot of orans. Watch out. Love wanes. He'll be back for his gold. I think not, sir. You could smell the loser in him a mile off. The debts must be keeping him away. So who's he talking about here? Can you make a good living at dice? That depends entirely on who one plays, sir. The wages are certainly larger in Vizima. And where in Vizima would I find someone willing to play? If your money pouch is bursting, try the new Narakort. You might also choose the hairy bear, if you have the nerve. Okie dokie. Farewell. Uh, let's see. Old peasant and drunkard. Chickens are dying like flies from the plague. Hmm. Oh. Have a drink with me. What is up with this guy? Why do we want to have a drink with this guy? Participate in drinking contests to gain information and rewards. Left click drink in dialogues to choose a beverage. Tip. Characters often have drink preferences and may refuse anything but their favored beverage. Out drink your opponent, but take care not to pass out. Okay. Yeah, maybe we'll do that later, dude. I don't want to go getting all drunk now. I have people to talk to. Okay. Alright, awesome. Just listen. Just listen. Okay. There's Shawnee. Oh, here's a little Alvin kid. You saved me, right? I helped. I wonder what will happen to me now. Waiting for your kin to come? No. My family has passed on. Sorry, kid. <laughs> it's all right. I barely knew them. Stand still. Oh, okay. Well. And then over here, there's some fighting that you could do to make some money. Your mother sacks dwarf cock. Excuse me? 